this. Okay. Well, it's recording sideways, so I don't know how the video is going to come out. So I have to uh, redo this video. I don't want to, but I will. And, as you guys can tell, I'm outside. Because this, this experiment involves two halogens. Uh, first one's chlorine, the next one's iodine, and today we are going to be making some iodine. Iodine is mildly toxic. Well, I'd say moderately toxic, actually. It looks like this. So, I've already made some. I got new glass burn today, so. And I got some chemicals like this potassium iodide. So, what you'll need is some bleach, hydrochloric acid, water to dissolve your potassium iodide in, and a scoop. I'm using this broken spoon because I broke it because it wouldn't fit in here, so I had to break it so I could actually fit it in here. So, I'm going to add about a gram. This stuff's quite water soluble, so you don't need much water to dissolve it about a gram to this and just dissolve it up uh, as you can see there it's all dissolved no color change apparent right now now we're gonna add this water mineral acid I'm using today it's hydrochloric acid you can use nitric acid which would precipitate the iodine immediately but I think it would also nitrate the iodine. I don't know. No, I'm not a person who's trying to figure that out right now. But no, it wouldn't nitrate it because you don't have the sulfuric acid. But it should precipitate it. But now we're going to add a, mi a strong mineral acid to this. Just about. Added about 10 mils. Because I had about 10 mils of water in there. Actually, I added about 5.5, but somewhere around there, 5.5. And, half. and I, ha I had about 5.5 uh, milliliters of water, so I added about 10, 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Now, here comes the toxic part. Now, you're going to want to grab some bleach. Sodium hypochlorite to be exact. And I'm gonna add it. Can't close this. I'm gonna start it with about 25 milliliters and if I need to get more, I'll add more. Just add that. Well, to dissolve, well, dissolve any of the impurities. Using bleach will dissolve some of your uh, product, but I find bleach much better than my very old hydrogen peroxide. Which, if you want to, you can use hydrogen peroxide. Now, as you can see, mine's already settled out to the bottom that fast. So I'm going to decant it into this thingy, it contains just some water, I'm just going to decant that into here. And now, as you can see I got a tiny amount of iodine. I'll weigh it out and tell you exactly how much I got. Uh, I didn't use much potassium iodide, so that's why I didn't get much iodine. Let me decant that a little bit of crap. But the more potassium iodide you use, I'll put the stoichiometry in the uh, description of how much to add to how much. If you need it, it'll be down in the description. Go check my website.
out it's out come for life dot uh dot weebly dot com uh will be soon soon it should be just dot com not dot weebly but anyways see you guys later and uh new chemical knowledge video coming on the way too so have fun and stay safe do chemistry smartly and here's my iodine i'll tell you how much i got in the description and this is all getting added to my element collection and maybe making some iota form coming up in the next next couple videos i need to get some acetone first so see you guys and have a great